I want to be old and wrinkly with her. That's what I want. You got to remind myself of that. Welcome to the Leitner Museum. What a spectacular location. Tonight we have come together to witness a unique moment in the lives of Samantha and Pasquale as they join their lives in the union of marriage. Their journey and love story began 15 years ago back in Little Woodstock, Illinois. They were in the eighth grade. It's a journey that took them through high school. Pat was the QB and Samantha was a cheerleader. Their beautiful love story brought them here to sunny, beautiful Florida. Samantha, I held you on the day you were born. This is truly a moment in my life that I will cherish and remember forever. I looked after you and protected you as you grew up. I believe I even threatened to hang Pat from our deer hanging station if he ever hurt her. <laughs> I have no doubt that he will love and honor you. He is a good man. Sam, this is your dad. I just want you to know I'm so proud of you. This is a big day, an emotional day. I'm so excited that it's finally here but I can't tell you what you mean to me. My firstborn little girl's all grown up and I'm giving you away today, but you're gaining Pat. I love Pat. And I wish you two nothing but the best. I love you to death. And I hope today's everything you want it to be and more. Samantha Marie, it's been over 12 years since we first met. And over these years, I've been blessed to get to know you more and more each day. We've truly become best friends, companions, and lovers. I'm so incredibly grateful to be up here today with you. I've been waiting many years. Pesquale Santucci Jr., it's finally here. I have dreamed about this day for as long as I can remember. And I want to say it looked just like this. I've truly loved you since the day I met you. The moment I saw you, I adored everything about you. Even your braces with your expander. <laughs> I remember telling my mom about you my first week at Olson Middle School. But you had a girlfriend. Needless to say, that didn't last long after you let me wear your Abercrombie necklace for picture day in the eighth grade. This forever is going to be absolutely wonderful. I just see eternity with you, and I always have, and I just love you every part of my being. See you at the altar, and I love you. Wow, this is real. <laughs> it's really real. I can't wait to see you. I know I'm gonna cry. Hi, Dad. Honey. I cannot wait to see you walk down the aisle, and I feel a little nervous, but I'm ready for this. I've been ready for this a long time, and I love you so much. It's gonna be amazing. I couldn't imagine my life without you or with anybody else, so I'm definitely gonna get a little worked up down there when your dad starts to cry, because he's for sure getting emotional. And then as soon as he gets emotional, your uncle will get emotional, and then I'll get emotional, so. I don't want anything, I just want to be happy. I'm really happy, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I 
vow to always give you my best self and to cherish you as long as we both shall live, becoming your wife today in front of everyone is everything I could have hoped for, but so much more. You have always been a part of my plan, and it's always been you. You challenge me to think more, explain more, and appreciate life more. Your mom told me one day, back when we were 16, that she would wear you around her neck on a necklace if she could, so that she could keep you safe and be with you all the time. And I'll never forget that conversation. I promise to always keep you safe and never be too busy to spend time with the ones that matter most to us. I just am looking forward to seeing you for the first time as my husband and for starting our life together officially. Let's just, let's just do the damn thing. <laughs> and make it the best night ever, okay? Let's do the damn thing. I'm ready for it. Dude, you want the black buttons? You look so handsome. You're beautiful. Am I allowed to kiss you? I don't know. <laughs> you truly are an amazing woman with an unbelievable family that have always treated me like one of their own. And I swear my family loves you way more than they love me. <laughs> I'm so thankful that you've loved me for exactly who I am and you've never asked me to change. Through these years, I felt my heart was completely full. Then you surprised me with Tito, and I learned I could actually love a dog as much as I love a human. I love that our biggest and just about only arguments are over me telling you that Tito cannot come to the grocery store <laughs> or on every date night. However, during our most recent move in September, you have been selling our furniture without my permission. <laughs> <laughs> Today I have officially won this game that we all call life, and I owe it to you and to all our loved ones who have supported us and are here today. You teach me to dream bigger than I could ever imagine, but you will always be my favorite dream come true. I will always try my hardest to make you laugh, even if it doesn't work the first time. I promise to never stop dating you and taking you out to explore new places together. You make it so easy to stay madly in love with you. I love when you say that you can't wait to date me for the rest of your life, even on the days I don't deserve to hear it. I promise to protect our family each day and night with the help of our Second Amendment because I'm a short Italian. <laughs> I promise to always have coffee, wine, and Rosati's hot jardinera fully stocked in our home. You have the ability to make my spinning world stand still so that you can remind me why we are here and what is most important in life. You're my life, you're my heart, and you're my destiny. You're my head and shoulders, you're above it all. I wholeheartedly know that we'll be walking through life together and through eternity together for one lifetime with you could never be enough. God willing, I hope to get 100 more years with you and Tito, and I think it's time to officially make you a Santucci. May you cherish the home and family you will create together. May all the years to come be filled with moments to celebrate and renew your love. May your love 
be a lifelong source of excitement, contentment, affection, respect, and devotion for one another. And so now, by the power vested in me, in the state of Florida, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Pat, you may kiss your bride. I love your big green eyes and long lashes that you stare at me with. I love the way you cover me. And I love the way you do our laundry. And then make our bed. And I love the way that you love Tito. But most importantly, I love that you choose me over and over again. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Pasquale Santucci. I love you too, more than you'll ever know. I am so proud of you. I know mom is, I know the Santucci's are. Let's rip the roof off of this place and have a good time. As you know, these two are the definition of love at first sight. It takes two very, very, very special people to find your soulmate in the eighth grade. Now we fast forward 15 years later, and we are finally celebrating them joining as one. Here he was, the little Italian boy who lived two miles down the street. You have no idea. The kid's been around for a long time, but it's time to welcome him in. And you're in, buddy. You're in. I mean, come on, the first time he met my family, he was told he was going to be hung by the man who married him today. If I were you, I would have ran. And by run, I would have run so far. But instead, you know what you did? You walked your tiny little ass into our home. And guess what, guys? He had two little diamond stud earrings with his flat board hat. Pat is quiet. And I like that. Pat will come over, sit on the couch. How you doing, Mark? Pat, I'm great. How was work? Pop a beer. You take a half a sip of beer and go to sleep. I love, I love it. In all honesty, for those that really know Pat, you might describe him as a 75-year-old man trapped in a 27-year-old's body. <laughs> I honestly think he might have a minor case of Benjamin Button's disease. <laughs> Very, very, very wise man once said, Pat, you must test drive that car before you buy it. Well, Pat, it only took you 15 years. But I'd say you ended up choosing not just some ordinary car, but you chose the damn Ferrari. So you better hold on tight because you're about to enter the most beautiful, wild ride of your guys' life. Sam, yours and Pat's relationship is truly something special. Not many people can say they get to marry their middle school sweetheart. 
Seriously, you guys have been together longer than most people's mortgage. He was the quarterback. She was the cheerleader. I mean, you guys are literally a 90s teen movie. <laughs> Although I had never said it to him directly, I could always tell my brother was crazy about you. I was told by so many people that my firstborn child was going to be a boy. Man, were these people wrong. <laughs> I was even convinced that my firstborn was going to be a son. What I can honestly tell you all is once the doctor and nurses told me Lisa had just gave birth to a little girl, I was so elated and overcome with the pride and happiness. My little red-haired girl who is now a grown woman and is celebrating her wedding day has made me the proudest father in the world. My daughter is more talented, capable, caring, and loving than any son I could ever hope to have. For me to be able to say that I'm your dad is the greatest honor of my life, and I love you. Very much. felt like you were a part of our family from the very beginning. Your family has always made sure we felt the same way. And there's a particular moment when I knew you were truly the one for my brother. It was the night you kicked my friend Nick and I out of your apartment for allegedly acting like idiots, forcing us to sleep in the back seats of the Yukon. <laughs> it was in the Astero Oaks parking lot that night when I knew Pat made the right choice. Whether it's your dangerously average dance moves at Rusty's Bar or screaming at the McDonald's drive through attendant at 3 a.m., you're always the life of the party. Me, you, and Pat have shared countless adventures and memories literally coast to coast. And for that, I couldn't imagine a more suitable partner for my brother. I've known Pat since eighth grade, and from the time he was 12 or 13 years old, he's never disappointed Lisa or me or my family. He came to me and asked me for my daughter's hand in marriage, which I felt was so important and impressive. I, I couldn't tell you how proud I was when he called me. Pat has truly become family to us for so many years now, and today I can officially call him my only brother. But the most impressive character trait Pat has in the fact that I know he is truly loves and respects my daughter, and I could not ask anything more of him. You're a good man, and Lisa and I are blessed to have you as our son-in-law. I did not have a son, and you're now my son. Pat, Sam, from the bottom of my heart, I couldn't be more happy for you guys. I love you two always and forever. Cheers. I love you guys. Now let's party.
You've supported me through all the ups and downs of my personal life. Hey, Tito, knock it off. Sorry. Oh, you're good, man. <laughs>